Hey, it's it's uh, game room time, Jeff. It is. Uh, and this week, uh, there are five games, not seven. Huh. Uh, this this might be the week that we look back on and think, and think this is the week that Game Room kind of went off the rails. Oh, yeah? Uh, why, why do you say that? Because uh, the five games out this week are not very good. I'm actually just looking for the broken yeah, guy. Yeah, where's the, where's the broken point. guy? Where's Bro's broken guy? I actually reorganized my entire arcade also. So uh, this is all Atari arcade games. Nice. And then, you know, kind of page two, or over here is... Uh, Your 2600 stuff. Yeah, Atari 2600 stuff. Oh, nice. Not the Activision stuff, because there's a separate Activision backdrop. Right. Uh, so here's all the Activision stuff. And continuing... Uh, Your Konami here stuff. Here we've got our Konami arcade stuff. More Konami arcade stuff. Could it be? Could it be that there's no broken avatar in the game room this week? Pshaw. Well, I guess that there's there's one thing that advantage game room. Yeah. All right, let's okay, check so out. Okay, so let me find, let me find my room of new games here. I believe yeah, here. It Ghost is. room. So five games this week, not seven. Uh, this this pack also went up a little late, which makes me wonder if like something was just straight up busted with two of the games. <laughs> like they said, just pull them, just pull them and put it up. Um, so what do we? Let's do a quick rundown from the top here. We got Frog, Frog Bog. Bog for Intellivision, Missile Command, the arcade version. Yep. Mr. Gomon or Mr. Kabuki, I guess, depending on which region you're in. Mm. Uh, they kind of call it both. Uh, it seemed like they were kind of unsure as to what to call it, and that's the arcade version. Skiing. Yeah. Activision 2600. Nice. And Video Pinball Atari for Atari 2600. Let's start out with Frog Bog. I have uh, no idea what Frog Bog is. Frog Bog's an Intellivision game, which is why you have no idea what it is. Yep. Uh, so I'm this frog here, and I want to jump up, and uh, and I want to eat the flies. And there are different buttons I can hit to jump in kind of different directions. Like a lot of in television games, it controls poorly. <laughs> What's up with the uh, pink frog? Uh, that's the computer-controlled frog that is trying to you know beat you. I believe you can probably play a two-player game. Can you fall off the uh, the lily pad? I don't think so. I don't just think it won't let you jump in the direction of anything else. So you're you're basically just kind of jumping in two directions at different heights. I don't know. There are three different buttons that, that jump differently and something. Well, the computer's killing you. The computer's yet. killing me. I, yesterday when I was playing this, uh, after they came out, I, I was doing a little better. There we go. Tied it up. Tied it up, sucker. Nice. Now who's the frog boggiest? That's right. Me. It's, is it you? It's I me. wasn't it's sure. It's me. It's me. I didn't know if that was a rhetorical question or no, if you wanted no, like a real answer. No, I want an answer. Okay. I want to know what you're, what you're thinking. Oh, you can't fall in the water. There okay. you go. Okay. Let's, let, I want to see a high-level frog bog play. Uh, I don't know that there's a leader, but there's no leaderboard, so you can't do any of that because there's no ranked mode. Okay. So another game room game I won't buy. Yeah. Uh, here is Missile Command. Missile Command, the original, was played with a trackball, as you see here. Yeah. Uh, and three buttons, one for each missile base. Uh, a lot of the home versions of Missile Command reduce it to one missile base, which I feel uh, was uh, dumb. Yeah, no. uh, But, you know, given the constraints of controllers at the time, made some sense. Of course, uh, they were also able to adjust things like the speed of the incoming missiles and such to adjust for you having a joystick and not a trackball. Uh, that's, yeah, I have to say here, that's a nice-looking Missile Command machine. Um, missile Command machines are very nice. So... Uh, you know, I have one button per missile base here, and I yep. can, uh, the audio doesn't seem right. Uh, I know this because I turned on my missile command machine <laughs> and thought, you know, even though the speakers on my missile command machine are a little blown, yeah, uh, the audio is not still not as distorted and kind of messy as it is here. But it's just like the like the deep noises, the the little yeah. beginning of round noise. No, I'm definitely is noticing fine. like the the bassy stuff is kind of. It's, it's just a little... Which, uh, which actually, I don't know, I kind of like... You're right, it's not accurate, but... Yeah. I kind of like that it sounds a little messed up. It's not as bad as Asteroids was. Mm -hmm. Like, that That was just not correct at all. So, you know, this game is probably better on the PC version of Game Room, if you want to get technical, because at least there you can, uh, you know, probably use a mouse. Right. Uh, which is... Or, you know, if you have a trackball mouse, then there you go, right? You're playing on a trackball. Boom. As intended. You seem to be doing all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can get up to times five, but, you know, at some point, the missiles just start coming in too fast, and I just, it doesn't seem like, you know, it doesn't seem like you'll be able to get as as far as you will, would be able to with a trackball, because the trackball just straight up moves faster, I and mean, this is as fast as the, the cursor moves. Right. When right. you get to high-level missile command, that is not fast enough. You need to be spinning hard. 
Uh, so three different buttons for the three uh, missile bases. Yep, and uh, the middle missile base files fast, uh, fires faster than the other two, so mm -hmm. it's kind of good for, you know, emergencies and such. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Lost two missile bases, even. Oh, That's this, is, this is going real bad. Eight kinds of bad right there. Now you're out of missiles. No, I'm good. I'm good. Two cities, whatever. I, I, smart, I, I, uh, smart bombs. Oh, God. Stupid defender. That's just, those missiles move faster than your cursor. You yeah. kind of don't have... You're just kind of stuck. Um, I just want to see you lose now because I want to see... You don't get to see it because it's a ranked game. It cuts off before that stuff happens. Oh, you don't get to see the big the end? Uh, yeah, if you play in classic mode, you get to see uh, all okay. that stuff. But in, in ranked games, it stops to start tabulating your score and, and do all that stuff. So we lose, basically. That was all the missile. Man, I hit fast. I actually did much better when I uh, play. See, as you can see, I have the gold medal. Nice. Uh, let's see where I am on the leaderboards. Uh, you're, you said you were in, like, number nine last night? Yeah. Oh. I've dropped. It's getting... People are getting better. It's top top to 20. Number, number 20. That's the bottom. They only keep the top 20. Yeah. So, uh, so you can still watch my replay if you want. If you want to see how a missile command master do, and watch someone else. I made it up to times five, though. That's uh, farther than I have ever made it in missile command. By the time I start seeing um, the smart bombs, I kind of freak out. Yeah. I believe that's the end of my game right there, too. Even. All right, oh, bonus city. Nice. Anyway, that's a messed up color palette. All right, so that's Missile Command. Yeah, that's Missile Command. I, I can't, I can't recommend it. Uh, though, th I love the side art on the Missile Command machine. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's, and it's I, the I, best thing about owning a Missile Command machine is I see that in my living room every day. <laughs> uh, All right, so Mr. Kabuki, Mr. Gomon, Mr. Gomon. But it, like they, they even listed as a, a couple. Let's let's see if the history actually says. Yeah, they call it Mr. Gomon. But, like, in their release, they called it Mr. Kabuki. Yeah, and then even when you're buying it, it says, like, Mr. Gomon and then Mr. Kabuki in uh, in parentheses. So, so clearly, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, this does have a ranked mode. I can see why they would call it Mr. Kabuki. Uh-huh. So I can jump, and I can club dudes with my pipe, or I can jump on their heads. Uh, when I have picked up an item like that, I can throw it. That character model makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff about this game that kind of makes me uncomfortable. Oh, no. It's basically like a Kung Fu Master, uh, the, the IRM classic that yes. you know as Kung Fu. Get that cat. cat I'm, already, I'm already holding, so oh, okay. I don't need the cat. You're all out of strawberries. Yeah, everyone looks super uncomfortable here. I thought Gomon was a ninja. It's a mystical ninja. Legend of the... This guy does not look like a ninja at all. Well, it's smoking that pipe. <laughs> a job well done. Reward it with some opium. Have you ever seen or played nope. this game before? Not at all. Surfing Samurai. Samurai was surfing. Oh, if they touch you for too long, you die. Don't I know it? The uh, the music is also kind of freaking me out. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a little bit of a panic here. Just go, dude. Just go. Just go. Oh, I'll try to make oh, it through the slow, slow down. down. Oh. Oh, dude. Not gonna win that fight. Look out for lightning. Is that is that supposed to be the moon? That's 
moving across the sky there? Yeah, the moon's the timer you see here at the end. It'll, oh, okay. It'll... Got it. Yeah. This is the furthest I've ever made it in Mr. Goma. <laughs> well, let's uh, see what you can do. That's that's it. There you go. That's it. Give me some medals. Oh. Uh, that game is crazy. Yeah. I don't know what to think of it. Skiing. Another uh, classic mode only game. In this game, the button resets. Yes. I, I seem to recall that yeah. about skiing. So I'm just kind of tapping left and right on the joystick to achieve different angles of descent. And I'm attempting to achieve the best time through these gates. Skiing. Accurate. They should put out Ski Free for Game Room. Yes. Skiing over here. Yep, you are skiing the shit out of this game, Jeff. Oh, come on. 37, 33. There you go. That's skiing. That's skiing. That was a game. They released that. They released that. They sold that in stores. In stores. Yeah, they sold it on a cartridge. See, there's the cartridge. You can see, see it. it. You can see it. That's, they... Activision. Bob Whitehead sat down and made that. <laughs> <laughs> Players who could beat 28-2 on game three would re receive a ski team patch. Good Did know. you ever get a, any patches? I qualified for a patch once, but it was after the deadline that uh. they were sending them out. Uh, and then, of course, video pinball uh, for the 2600. Of course. Bob Smith. The Bob Smith. Uh, so this one, I'll start by showing you the controls. because uh, So understand, the Atari 2600 was a joystick with one button. Mm -hmm. uh, so... You know, controlling two flippers and uh, the ability to nudge the ball around was was a lot for that controller. And they've done some weird stuff to get it going here. So they have the flippers on the bumpers, but then you notice there's a both flippers button. That's because up on the joystick was how you did both flippers. Okay. Um, and so the, the bad thing about this is... Uh, we'll start again here. If I hit uh, the left of the bumper and the right bumper at the same time to do both flippers, I get nothing. Oh, so it would because seem. it was left and right on the joystick, and you couldn't hit that. So I have to, there, I have to use a separate button to hit both flippers up. Uh, this is less than ideal, and I feel like it, you know this. This is something that only someone who played the game originally and thinks about this for a little while will understand why this, why is, this, this way. is this way. Because um, it, it's 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 no good. Uh, Would it have been better if they had just put it all on the joy? If they had just mapped it straight up of left stick is the joystick and you know there are different controller layouts. Maybe that is one of the options. But uh, uh, so I can do these crazy ball physics. I can hold down the A button and work the joystick. To... Work the stick. Work oh, the stick. God. Work the stick. Uh, to kind of nudge the ball around a little bit and try not to tilt it. So you can't actually tilt the table? Yeah. The score bar will turn red if I oh, go oh, too crazy oh. with it. Come oh, on, come oh. on! No. No dice. Just pinballs. Uh, I've done uh, terribly. I used to play this game with the difficulty switches closed, which closes those little holes at the bottom. Uh, and I used to play this game for hours and hours that way. Uh, but with those holes, it's way harder. I bet. Oh. Also, the controls are oh terrible. Hooray. There you go. That's, that's the end of my video pinball game. Uh, also close to your next medal. Yeah, but since you can kind of like not launch the ball, I wonder if it'll just sit there and count up time. I wonder if I can just get survivalist by hmm. just sitting there. Uh... That's it. That's that's it. That's this week's uh, game room so releases. Dude, this, this dude played some. Wow. Oops, I hit A. I did not hit V replay. You done started a new game. Yeah, show me, show me some pro grade video pinball play. All right. Yep.
Just the one table? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you can close those holes. <laughs> See him nudging the ball through that lane there. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, totally. Yes, this is... Okay. If you want to know how to play video pinball, this is how it is done. I hope it's just this, then, forever. Yep. <laughs> eventually, eventually lost it, yeah. but... Uh, Good run. Clearly, uh, yeah, just nudging the ball back and forth there, letting it... I mean, he's not even really hitting the flippers that much. It is full-on tilt manipulation here. Oh. Oh, God. The ability to do that definitely makes the physics in this game seem way, way crazier. Yeah. Also concerning the fact that you can just make this thing bounce back and forth forever, basically. Yeah, basically forever. Well, I mean, he had to lose eventually. Yeah. There he's, this is him getting his score counted up after losing a ball. Great noise. I think it's burrowing inside my mind. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it looks like he just did that for one ball and then just let the other ones go. And he is uh, well in the lead. Good going, V Ray. Kind of bummer this week. Nothing uh, really jumping out at me personally. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, Missile Command's a classic, but it's just hard to duplicate. Yeah, uh, yeah. With the with the 360 controller, it's not the best fit. Yeah. Uh, let's let's do one more lap. See if we can find Broken Guy. Okay. What did I say? I said three. You said one. What? You said first floor. I said third floor. Okay. For where we would find Broken Guy. Well, I cleared out a lot of the first floor, so there's uh, uh, in, less... my, in my newly designed arcade, so there's less opportunities for avatars to be up in there. Okay. No. 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 It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people in your arcade in general. Uh, yeah, even they know that this week's game room is uh, <laughs> kind of a bummer. Avatars, smart enough. Yeah. Yeah, no broken guy this week. Hooray. Hooray. That's all right. Yes. That's progress, I suppose. So uh, there you have it. The first release for uh, Game Pack 5, the first batch of games. And uh, we'll have more when they do more, I guess. All right. Excellent. No, no sense in stopping now. <laughs>